Brooklyn-born Eddie Gale grew up surrounded by music, so it's natural that he would become a musician. He's been casting his spell over the Silicon Valley for the past four decades. Tonight, John Gray takes a look at San Jose's Ambassador to Jazz. <laughs> summer night in San Jose, the jazz floats over the crowd like spun gold wafting in the breeze. Eddie Gale is working his magic. <laughs> Celebrated horn player, gifted side man, talented band leader, and phrasing philosopher king, Gale has seen it all and played it all. In his 67 years, Gale has never lost his love of playing the trumpet and his passion for the most quintessential American musical art form, jazz. There are titles, and then there are titles, but the coolest one belongs to the man dubbed San Jose's Ambassador of Jazz by former Mayor Norman Mineta back in 1974. Gail has taken that designation and run with it in an effort to raise jazz awareness and music appreciation to countless schools and colleges and music lovers in San Jose and throughout the Bay Area. Gail's own musical journey started as a young bugle-playing Cub Scout back in his hometown of Brooklyn, New York, in a city surrounded by music. There was just so much going on. You could walk down the streets and hear people practicing. They wouldn't open and drummers and horn players and bass players and, and being around all the musicians that went. See, what happened there in my town in Brooklyn was that a lot of me famous people came to, to, to live in New York. They would live in Brooklyn. In the 1950s, Brooklyn was a mecca for musicians. Jazz legend piano player Bud Powell lived around the corner from Gale and there was a long line of emerging stars that helped shape and influence the young horn player's life and music. All the musicians who came around, Max Roach, Jackie McLean, you know, those great artists, but a lot of them lived there and they were from Brooklyn Park too. Jackie from the city. Sonny Rollins, you know, was on the scene also. You see, uh, Cal Massey, uh, uh, Randy Weston, all of these are Brooklyn musicians who emerged out of Brooklyn as being leading jazz musicians all over the world. Gale began playing in clubs as a very young man, setting in with other musicians, including the great John Coltrane. And over time, he began recording with other artists, including Larry Young and Cecil Taylor. However, it was the outstanding alto sax player Sonny Stitt who imparted the most profound wisdom to the young horn player. And Sonny Stitt said, Son, go home and learn to play slow. And I said, what is he talking about going to play slow fast as he played that on one? And he's telling me to go and play slow. Or I, I want to play fast like that. You know, not realizing the time that he was telling me to develop my sound and my tone by playing slow, playing ballads, for instance. I had to learn that point of view, you see. To learn to play ballads because that's a part of the whole development of your tones and all. Is to be able to hold notes for a long time and do things with the note. You know, like double tongue it, triple tongue it, you know, uh, trill the notes. You know, I was doing that earlier when we were demonstrating with the, uh, with the horn a little bit. And, uh, you know, just a run like that. And then, oh, what I do with that? You see, to take things and just do something with the notes, you know. Gail gained even more acclaim in the jazz community as a trumpet player in Sun Ross' legendary group known as the Orchestra. However, after relocating to the Bay Area in the early 1970s, Gail's career took another turn. Along with playing numerous gigs and making jazz albums, the horn player from Brooklyn started working more and more with local kids promoting music. Bring jazz to the schools and be in tune with, with the political scene to something to be like I was in New York, then that gave me the opportunity to, you know, show that I was servicing the community. All my children was in school too, of course, so I would go to school and play, you know. And from that, this is how the Ambassador of Jazz came about with, with Norman, that and Bob showed up, you know, being community minded people in the politics, they gave me this honor. And I uh, came to San Jose State, I was doing a concert. 
and bought a plaque. He's on the wall right now, still there, and then uh, gave me this endorsement as the ambassador of jazz. Despite a busy schedule as a performer, Gail continues to be a jazz musician on a mission.
tonight was very subtle and uh, beautiful. It was a uh, gorgeous sound and it was wonderful seeing how uh, Eddie Gale took control uh, without, without being intrusive. And, you know, he was able to direct everybody beautifully. Well, we're from New York, so we were just saying how much we miss spiritual, improvisational jazz and music and we think it's really moving. We were just wondering what um, the audience thought about the um, concert. Oh, it's what amazing. It's some feedback. It's totally moving me. Okay. And I'm like in my seat and it's, it's just great. Okay. And I love how creative Mr. Eddie is. Oh. You know, how he, it looks like he's making it up as, as we go.
to commend Eddie Gale, but in fact, Eddie has had a remarkable heart and passion for the community. Um, I know there are members here at the Horace Mann Neighborhood Association. Every national night out features Eddie and uh, various musicians who are, are just eager to be able to play with Eddie and enjoy the opportunity to play great jazz, and the community absolutely loves it. Uh, he also routinely has fundraisers for students at Horace Mann, for science camp, camps. Uh, he's uh, been on a, a, a mission to try to create a fund for health insurance for struggling musicians, much as Austin and other cities have. Uh, he does it with a variety of fundraisers that he's spearheaded, including Jazz on the Mules Drum Night for Jazz Youth, Adult Jazz Festival, and Concerts for World Peace. Uh, clearly, Eddie, through his life and his music, has demonstrated his belief that artists have a responsibility to help direct the community in a positive direction for the artistic experience. I think that, those are his words, not mine. Uh, I wanted to thank and ask the mayor to commend Eddie Gale for his extraordinary lifetime contributions here to the community of San Jose and to the jazz community as well.